Hi, Roy Alpenheim from The Trenches. A lot of times people are asking me what the difference is between a C Corp and an S Corp. And I want to talk a little bit about an S Corp today. So S Corps are, are very restrictive. You can, I think, only have like 100 shareholders. You, the, the shareholder has to be usually a natural person. It, it can't be a, a corporation, for example. It has to be a person. So, so there are limitations on, on what, uh, who can own an S Corp. And the other big thing about an S Corp is that any profits that are derived in the company are not paid at the company level. They are a see-through entity. And the, and the profits are distributed to the shareholder. So even if you retain earnings in the company, each shareholder is nevertheless going to pay their pro rata share of taxes for the retained earnings in that company. So if you're retaining like $100,000 in the company and you have two shareholders, each shareholder, let's say they're on 50-50, each shareholder will be responsible for $50,000 of, of income and thus they will pay taxes on that $50,000, which let's say it's at 30%, would be $15,000. Each shareholder would have to pay $15,000, yet they didn't get a penny in their pocket because you retain the earnings. So if you're retaining earnings in, a, in, a, in an S-Corp, you may want to consider converting to a C-Corp, uh, or you just pay those taxes, or you just distribute enough so that you can at least pay those taxes. But typically S-Corps are for companies that, that are, are basically going to eliminate most of the cash at the end of the year, and then they're going to start over and they're going to make distributions during the course of the year and at the end of the year, and then build up again each year. Um, but it's, it's a different kind of philosophy than a C-Corp where you're building and, and retaining earnings. So if you have any questions about electing to be a C-Corp or an S-Corp and, and forming those entities, please speak to us as well as your CPA, of course, uh, Roy Oppenheim.